The technological tour de force. Dot eight. The specialized wood veneer was made by Rodis Manufacturing in Marshfield, Wisconsin. Hamilton Rodis had teams of young women ironing the unusually thin, strong birch wood veneer before shipping to California. Dot seventeen. A house moving company transported the airplane on streets to Pier E, now Pier T, eighteen, in Long Beach, California. They moved it in three large sections, the fuselage, each wing and a fourth, smaller shipment with tail assembly parts and other smaller assemblies. After Hughes aircraft completed final assembly, Thirik did a hangar around the flying boat, with a ramp to launch the H-4 into the harbor. Dot. One, Howard Hughes was called to testify before the Senate War Investigating Committee in 1947 over the use of government funds for the aircraft. During a Senate hearing on the 6th of August, 1947, the first of a series of appearances, Hughes said the Hercules was a monumental undertaking. It is the largest aircraft ever built. It is over five streets tall with a wingspan longer than a football field. That's more than a city block. Now, I put the sweat of my life into this thing. I have my reputation all rolled up in it and I have stated several times that if it's a failure, I'll probably leave this country and never come back. And I mean it dot, 19, N4, in all. Development cost for the plane reached $23 million, equivalent to $222 million in 2021 dollars. Dot, 20, operational history. Hughes returned to California during a break in the Senate hearings to run taxi tests on the H-4.13 on November 2, 1947. The taxi tests began with Hughes at the controls. His crew included Dave Grant as copilot, two flight engineers, Don Smith and Joe Petrelli, 16 mechanics, and two other flight crew. The H-4 The flight deck of the H-4, 2010 also carried seven invited guests from the press corps and an additional seven industry representatives. In total, 36 people are on board. 21 Four reporters left to file stories after the first two taxi runs while the remaining press stayed for the final test run of the day. 22. After piking up speed on the channel facing Cabrillo Beach, the Hercules lifted off, remaining airborne for 26 seconds at 70 foot, 21 m, off the water at a speed of 135 miles per hour, 217 kilometers per hour for about 1 mile, 1.6 kilometer, dot, 23, at this altitude, the aircraft still experienced ground effect, dot, 24, nevertheless, the brief flight proved tow detractors that Hughes, now unneeded, masterpiece was flight worthy thus vindicating the use of government funds, dot, 25, the H-4 never flew again, its lifting capacity and ceiling were never tested. Afterwards a full-time crew of 300 workers, all sworn to secrecy, maintained the aircraft in flying condition in a climate-controlled hangar. The company reduced the crew to 50 workers in 1962 and then disbanded it after Hughes' death in 1976. 26, 27, display. H-4 Hercules at Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. A Douglas DC-3 parked beneath its wing shows the scale of the H-4. Ownership of the H-4 was disputed by the U.S. government, which had contracted for its construction. In the mid-1970s, an agreement was reached whereby the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum would receive its Hughes H-1 racer and section of the H-4 swing. The Sumar Corporation would pay $700,000 and receive ownership of the H-4, the U.S. Government would cede any rights, and the aircraft would be protected from commercial exploitation. 28, 29, underside of port wing of H-4 in 1980, 
The H-4 was acquired by the Aero Club of Southern California which later put the aircraft on display in a very large geodesic dome next Toth Queen Mary ship exhibit in Long Beach, California. The large dome facility became known as the Spruce Goose Dome. The very large enclosed indoor dome area around the H-4 consisted of meeting and special event space, elaborate audio-visual displays about Howard Hughes and the aircraft itself, and dining areas for tourists. Many convention groups held large dinners, sales meetings, and even concerts under the wings of the aircraft at night when the Spruce Goose Dome was closed to tourists. In 1986, a secondary simulator-style attraction named Time Voyager was constructed next to the H-4, at a cost of $2.5 million. In 1988, the Walt Disney Company acquired both Long Beach attractions and the associated Long Beach real estate by Piaget. In 1991, Disney informed the Aero Club of Southern California that it no longer wished to display the Hercules aircraft after its highly ambitious Port Disney plan was scrapped. Hughes H-4 Hercules at Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum after a long search for a suitable host, the Aero Club of Southern California arranged for the Hughes Hercules flying boat to be given to Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum in exchange for payment sound a percentage of the museum's profits. 31. The aircraft was transported by barge, train, and truck to its current home in McMinnville, Oregon, about 40 miles, 64 kilometers, southwest of Portland where it was reassembled by Contractors Cargo Company and is currently on display. The aircraft arrived in McMinnville on the 27th of February, 1993, after a 138-day, 1055-mile, 1,698 kilometers trip from Long Beach. The Spruce Goose Geodesic Dome is now used by Carnival Cruise Lines as its Long B terminal dot by the mid-1990s. The former Hughes aircraft hangars at Hughes Airport, including the one that held the Hercules, were converted into sound stages. Scenes from movies such as Titanic, What Women Want and End of Days have been filmed in the 315,000 square foot. 29,300 square meters, aircraft hangar where Howard Hughes created the flying boat. The hangar will be preserved as a structure eligible for listing in the National Register of Historic Places in what is today the large light industry and housing development in the Playa Vista neighborhood of Los Angeles. 32. It has since been converted to office and event space by Google. 33. 34. Specifications, H4. Performance specifications are projected. Dot Pratt and Whitney are 4,360 WASP major engine general characteristics crew, 3. Length, 218 feet 8 in, 66.65 m. Wingspan, 320 feet 11 in, 97.82 m. Height, 79 feet 4 in, 24.18 m. Fuselage height, 30 feet, 9.1 m. Empty weight, 250,000 pound, 113,398 kilograms. Power plant, 8 Pratt and Whitney R4360 WASP major 28 cylinder air cooled radial piston engines. 3,000 HP, 2,200 kilowatts, each. Propellers, 4-blade Hamilton Standard, 17 feet 2 in, 5.23 m, diameter constant speed propellers. Performance cruise speed, 250 miles per hour, 400 kilometers per hour, 220 kn. Range, 3,000 m. 4,800 kilometers, 2,600 m. Service ceiling, 20,907 feet, 6,400 m. Notable appearances in media. C. 
See also Charles M. Olmsted Ground Effect Vehicle Coolhoven Concept 100 Ton 224,000 Pound Flying Boat 35 Aircraft of Comparable Role Configuration and Era Blom and Voss BV 238 Late Claire 631 Martin J.R.M. Mars Saunders Row Princess Related lists list of large aircraft References Notes Quote Good Let's uh, stop and read the uh, next one